Hi everybody, this is Vasavi from At Home Tuition. So in this video, we are going to learn how to find the mode of both grouped and ungrouped data. So let me first tell you what mode is. Actually, mode means the value which has been repeated more number of times. When a group of data is given, you just need to find out which value is repeated again and more number of times, which has got the more number of repetence. Okay. So for that, uh, let me show you a few examples. In the first one, the raw data that is ungrouped data is given uh, and you are asked to find the mode of it. It is so simple. Just see which number has been repeated more number of times. So to make it um, easier, what we do is, let us first arrange these numbers in ascending order. Okay. Now one look at it, you will know which number is repeated more number of times, right? Here you see 3 has been repeated 3 times and 4 is just 2 times and 6 is also just twice. So you can say mode is 3, okay? It is so simple. When the data is ungrouped, you just arrange it in ascending order so that you don't miss any values and then uh, see which number has got more number of repetence. So here it is 3. So the value 3. Okay. It is not because it is repeated 3 times. I wrote the mode as 3. The value is 3. 3 has been repeated thrice. So the, the number 3 is the mode. Okay. Now sometimes you may be given like this. Like you know some numbers would have been repeated more number of times. So uh, it is easier to put it in this frequency table rather than writing it like these raw data okay so in that case also it is very clear you i mean it is even more easier you needn't even write them in order right you it is already given like how each number how many times it is repeated so this is the value given okay this is x and this would be the frequency number of students is the frequency right so just look at the frequency and uh, decide which number has been repeated more number of times. So here it shows 13, right? 13 number of times this 30 is repeated. So I would say mode for this value is 30, 30. Don't write 13, okay? 13 is number of time it is repeated. So the value is 30. So your mode is 30. Got it? So these types are very easy. And the next one is when you get the grouped data, okay? In that case, you will have the class interval like here and the frequency given, okay? So these type of data are grouped data. So what you do is here you need to find the model lifetime. See, the following data gives the information on the observed lifetime in harbors of 225 electrical components. And the details is given in the table you are to determine the model lifetimes of the components, okay? So you are going to find the mode. See, for this you have a formula, okay? Mode is equal to L plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2 times F1 minus F0 minus F2 times H. So this is the formula for Finding out the mode, I'll tell you what these are. L is the lower limit of the model class. F1 frequency of model class. F0 as frequency of previous model class. F2 is frequency of next model class. First, you have to fix the model class, right? So, the class with highest frequency will be your model class, okay? So here you see 61 is the highest frequency, right? So the model class is 60 to 80, okay? The class interval you have to write, 60 to 80. So your L will be lower limit, which is 60. Your F1 is equal to the frequency of this model class, that is 61. F0 is equal to the frequency, this is your F1, okay? Now, F0 is the 
frequency of previous model class which is 52 and F2 will be the frequency of the next model class. So your F2 is equal to 38. H is class size. The class size is 20, right? Just apply these values in the formula and you get the mode, okay? Therefore, mode is equal to the lower limit which is 60 plus F1. So that's 61. Take away F0 which is 52. Whole divided by twice F1. F1 is 61 again. Minus F0 which is 52. Minus F1 which is 38. Okay. Do this calculation first. And then it is times the class size which is 20. So this would be like 60 plus here it is 9 right on the numerator and the denominator it is 32 okay over 20. So this will give you 60 plus when you solve this you can use the calculator if needed you get 5.625 as answer okay 9 times 20 divided by 32 is 5.625 so your mode is 65.625 see you can check your answer should be within the model class you got okay that is your answer should match with the model class you found out earlier see the model class here we got is 60 to 80 right so the value the mode should be somewhere in between this so you got it as 65.65 as your mode here. Hope this video was useful to you. See you next time. Till then bye.